Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Cynthia Toa, Mary Flippy, your Gypsy Madison woman and your inspirational coach. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Remember, remember, remember on Monday nights and Thursday nights, I go live for your hidden love story where you can come in and get your own personal reading free on me as long as you come in and stay. No, <laughs> not stay, but <laughs> subscribe to the channel and like the channel while you're there. Mm -hmm. That's what it is for. And, okay, and while you're here, might as well like this channel. <laughs> might as well like the channel here while you're here. And let's see what the beautiful cards have to say for the collector right now here today. Ooh, let's see, let's see what it has to say. <laughs> it says, ooh, the page of swords. Some crystal clear thoughts that are, that it's written in the book, you know, the, the crystal clear there's some thoughts that want to be brought forward to bring out and to open to lighten the load to lighten things up to make sure that thought process is not so heavy <laughs> let's see and for the queen of cups coming from unconditional love she's ready she's ready to receive she's ready to receive whatever it is that message is that is coming towards her this is a message that's coming towards this Queen of Cups. Hmm, I wonder what the message is. <laughs> I wonder, wonder, wonder what the cards are going to say the message is. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think there's a hidden love story inside the cards? Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> mm. What is it? What is it? No, I don't want half the deck down there. Give me a card. Nine of Pentacles. Being abundant, this is, you know, you know you've done your stuff. You have worked your way up to this position, feeling grounded, feeling whole, feeling complete, you know, taking care of yourself, probably because you had to, <laughs> but you found out that you did a pretty darn good job at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was asking, what is the message, though? I want to know. I want to know. That's what I thought. It has to do with the lovers. Mm -hmm. That's the message that wants to come forward. And she's ready to receive it. She's been loving herself in the meantime. But that's the message that wants to come forward. This love story. <laughs> I told you there was a hidden love story in the mix. Four cards out. And there's the love in the story already. Woo! We got that hidden love story right here, right here on this channel. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the Divine Feminine has walked away from, she left her passion, she left her fire right here, but she walked away from what's going on over here. <laughs> what she walked away from. She walked away to make sure what. <laughs> Let's see, she walked away from any lower vibrational story that was back there in the past but in the meantime she left her passion she left her fire because you know she knows what she came in with and so she came in with passion she came in with fire <laughs> she left it there for the emperor <laughs> and the emperor has been getting his wings finding his balance in this journey <laughs> he has been and that is a divine balance a divine balance within himself so he can make this forward movement, forward movement towards what? Towards the lovers, towards his love story. Mm -hmm. he wants to make that forward movement. What else? What else is here for the collective? cards. Give us another card. Give us another card. Right here, right now, for the collective. Yeah, it's it's about making sure that you feel on, it's, it is bringing this, this, making sure you feel on top of the world as this journey is, is cycling around, as it's, you know, it's been climbing this ladder, it's getting to the top. Making sure that you're feeling on top of the world. See how she's feeling? Woo! she's feeling well taken care of she's feeling on top of the world because why her wishes and dreams are coming true that are coming down from divine <laughs> <coughs> they're dreams with an unconditional soul story <laughs> unconditional 
unconditional love. I don't know why it came out that way. An unconditional love, which is a soul connection that's making this love story. So we got a soul story going on, a soul connection. And that's what <laughs> unconditional love with this soul connection. That's what I got to say it was trying to say. It came out that way, you know. <laughs> We have, we do have a lot of um, higher arcana cards right now. We got one, two, three, four, five out of ten. <laughs> Man, what can I say? <laughs> we have the angels above talking. Divine is taking charge. Divine is taking the lead. Divine is running the show. <laughs> Divine is taking the lead. Divine is running the show. That's what I gotta say. <laughs> You know, for the last week or so, that's all I can pull is a whole bunch of divine calling cards. This is uh, about the divine and the feminine coming together with equal give and take. They both have just as much to offer one another or within the relationship or whatever. They both have, it's like they're in alignment, they're in balance. I did have that card come up and I threw it back in the deck, which, which would, I think it was... Well, it had the scale, justice, it had the scale on it. Balance, it had to do with balance. Okay. Which would put another higher on, on card card out here, yeah. <laughs> See what this angel speaking to us, loud and clear. Well, they're hoping it's clear. <laughs> it's pretty loud, that's for sure. <laughs> What else? Anything else for the collective right now here today? Mm -hmm. Let's see, that's the bottom. Yeah, the, um, we have the highest priest, so that's another higher arcana card. She come out to say she knows things that we don't know. She can see things we don't know. She knows part of the story we don't know. What she does know, the Divine Feminine has there, definitely been taking care of her heart, nurturing her heart, protecting her heart day and night because she has this beautiful message to share out there to the world to the public in the mass she's here to shine she's here to tell her brighter story out to the world out to the collective out in this beautiful awesome amazing way mm -hmm. yeah, I believe the angels are definitely running the show nowadays <laughs> here's another one who just a matter of going through this rebirth, going through this process that you can only see the light in the story. You can only see the brighter side of the story. That's what you're heading towards, the brighter side of the story. Going through a rebirth. <laughs> Yeah, where's my Divine Master? He's right here, I tell you. <laughs> He's right here, too. <laughs> he hasn't made that move yet. <laughs> He's getting his wings still. <laughs> I tell you, this is the longest ass journey I've ever been on. <laughs> what else? Mm -hmm. Anything else for the collective right now here today? Mm -hmm. Brand new beginnings with passion. Brand new beginnings with fire, with action. Brand new beginnings with that passion, fire and action, yet with calmness within, where it's not intoxicating us from how much passion comes at us with that desire that makes it so we can't even get nothing down, we can't even get close to each other, can't even talk to each other because that intoxication. But now we get a brand new beginning with that. We we get to operate from the calm this within as that passion and that desire still resides <laughs> it does it does the will of fortune change brand new beginnings because we have learned how to balance our emotional self the, the heavy self and the lighter self or the um, love and above and down below <laughs> we've been able to bring a balance so this is a will of fortune change something better your life is changing for the better Higher and card, or card, card too. I don't know. 
I can say anything. <laughs> I can mess it up if I want. It's okay, you know. You all know that that's one of the angel cards. I'm telling you, if they're running the show. They have been all week long. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this reading. Out of how many cards? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So half the cards. There's seventeen cards, eight of them. But there's only twenty-two in the whole deck. I mean, that's what's crazy. How does that many come out? Earlier in the week, I had six or seven come out in a row. Divine is definitely doing things, making things happen to shift this love story in perspective. But if we can't figure it out, Divine's coming in to make sure we can figure it out. This is Cynthia Tellett, Miss Flippy, your Gypsy Madness Woman and your inspirational coach. Um, please remember to like and share and subscribe to the channel. If when you subscribe, it lets you know when I post another video. When you like it, it helps uh, put the algorithm <laughs> into the video so it helps move it up. And uh, put, leave a comment down below too. Just say hi, I, I checked it out, or good going, or the, this resonated, or a smiley face, or a fire and a passion and a desire, whatever. <laughs> um, that helps the channel too. And when you share, you help other people grow and expand. So all those things, yeah. And then again, Monday night and Thursday nights, I go live for your hidden love story where I'm helping uh, find the internal love within ourselves, loving that soul that we truly, really are. <laughs> Instead of looking up there for it, let's find it in here. And when we are actually falling deeply and completely in love with ourselves, guess what? Love starts being attracted towards you in this whole brand new, awesome, amazing way. <laughs> and, um, that's on Mondays and Thursdays, 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I do give free readings for the first 22 people that come in. <laughs> and, and, yeah, I have my rules and regulations in that. But, you know, you can come on in and figure that out as we're there. And until next time, have a very beautiful day. Bye-bye, butterflies. Catch you.